Okay, in this video, we're going to look at how to construct a histogram, a bar chart, and a pie chart. And all of these charts um, deal with just showing distributions of the numbers from the um, data set. And again, we're going to use bins on the data set. These were the same bins that we used in our frequency vi video. And again, to get the, to decide on the number of bins or how many uh, spaces are within the bins, there is a, a actual arithmetic operation you can do. And again, it's um, within per parentheses is taking the maximum number, which is 47, you can see it on our list way down there, and subtracting it to the lowest val value, close parentheses, divided by five, because we only want to use five bins for this particular exercise, for this to construct our um, chart. So, and for the histogram, you will need the bins. So after you do the op op operation, Nine will be the answer, uh, but we're going to um, round up to ten for our bins. In other words, it will count all the numbers up to um, the up to ten, and then the next bin will be eleven to twenty, and so so forth. All right, now let's get rid of that. Let's see how we can construct a histogram. All right, first you need the tool pack. So go to da data. If you don't have the tool pack already installed, please look at the videos that shows you how to install the tool pack. Data analysis, histogram, right there, we got it high, highlighted. Okay, now what I'm going to do is input arrange. I'm going to include the label, control, shift, down arrow, to capture all the data. Then in this box, bin range, including the label, put all the numbers in there. Now, this is very important for um, when it comes to the histogram. First, you want to output where you're going to put the um, histogram. I'm going to just put it on this page. I can select a new work worksheet, but I'm, I'm going to just put it on here. And I'm going to just put it right there. Now, watch what's going to happen also. Also, make sure that you check chart output make sure your labels is checked don't worry about these other um, commands right right there and press OK all right here here it is I'm gonna get that a little bit larger and there we go now as you can see here here is the histogram but it's not complete yet at least to my satisfaction. What we want to do then is first we want to make it a little bit more presentable. Uh, when you do histograms, it will do the frequency count for you. Notice that it will do the frequency count for you. It's the same as the frequency count right there in our last exercise. However, we don't want the more in there. So I'm going to highlight horizontally. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to delete, and I'm going to say shift up, and there we go. Okay, cleaned it up some, but it's still a little bit of work. Histograms, traditionally, at least the way I was taught in all the textbooks I've been reading, says the, the, that there should be no gaps between the bars, or among the bars, or between the bars. Let's put be, between the bars. So, I'm going to go to format. And right here, gap width, I'm going to close it to zero. There it is right there. I'm also going to go to borders because I want borders in between the bars separating. So I'm going to say solid. Now I'm going to change it to black, which is already black. And all right, there you go for that. Now also I can add data to it. So I'm going to add data. And now you can see the distribu distribution. Kind of looks like a bell-shaped curve if you look at it. All right, that's the histogram. Now, let's do a bar chart, which is similar to a histogram, except there are no gaps. 
and it shows again um, numbers within a group. Now for this, I'm going to highlight the bins and the frequency chart. I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to go to recommended charts. Let's see what they have there. And here's the frequency bar chart right there. So I'm going to press OK. Let's move it to a working area. A little bit bigger. And I don't want to close. I don't want to close. But what I'm going to do here is add the number here. And there's your bar chart. Now, again, a lot of people would say to me, a lot of past students said, well, what's the, you know, I don't see any di di difference. Well, the difference, again, is, is no gaps between. But, again, I believe it's up to you to decide if you're going to do a presentation in front of a group of people, which chart you think would be easier to explain the subject matter um, with, with numbers. All right, our last chart is going to be the pie chart. Now, for the pie chart, we only are concerned with frequency numbers. We're not concerned with bins and the fre frequencies. So I'm going to highlight the, fre the frequencies. Now, pie charts, it's usually it's, it will show quick, uh, frequency count and or the percentages. Um, so I'm going to go again to insert, recommended, and there's your pie chart right there. So I'm going to say OK. And there it is. I'm going to move it to this area here. A little bit bigger for y'all. And then I'm going to add late, late labels. And let's see what labels show up. And here are frequency labels. If I want to change it to a percentage, I can click here and take away the click off the values. Press O. Press that, and now you can see here are the percentages. I could have showed percentages and frequency count at the same time. All right, so what we did in this vi video is we showed a histogram, how to build a histogram, how to build a bar chart, and how to build a pie chart. Okay, that's about all I have to say.